coverage lah basically ya. This is prepared. I, I'm using uh, uh, by Puan Beda punya slide lah because Puan Beda will distribute the slides later on to you for your classes. Right? Uh, so some of the slides are a bit extensive, yeah? very, very, yeah? very, very good, yeah? just like read a textbook. Yeah? Uh, so, but it's good for you to go through and modify if you, if you think you need to do so. Yeah? So these are the coverage for the first one. Yeah? We talk about what is corporate finance, objectives, yeah? why we need to maximize shareholders wealth. Yeah? The we talk about the type of stakeholders, the shareholders and stakeholders. Yeah? We talk about the conflicts of interest between shareholders and the company yeah, that leads to agency problem. Basically. Okay, so let's look at the, uh, the, the what is corporate finance all about. Okay, this is how we manage the finance of the corporations. Basically. Okay, uh, so there are three basically. Yeah, so the first question, of course, is what. Uh, what long live as long life asset should the firm invest? Eh? I mean, you need to talk about yeah? what are the uh, are you, uh, I like to use the old term uh, fixed asset uh, eh? that you, want, you need to invest for your business because these fixed assets are used to generate revenue, right? So you need to actually yeah, uh, choose the right fixed asset because fixed asset is a capital expenditure. It's expensive. Yeah, if you choose wrongly to buy this asset, this will be costly to the business later on, right? Uh, so therefore, you need to be able to do this correctly. So you have done this in your previous paper. When you do your capital budgeting, basically you have applied that to to do this to find the correct or the right fixed asset for you, basically, right? Uh, so the second one we talk about what? How do we raise fund for the business? Because business need money, yeah. Uh, we're not talking about like accounting. Accounting talk a lot on profit, but when we talk about finance, we focus more on cash because cash is the blood of the business. Insufficient cash, like human, we become weak, right? Uh, so, yeah, so we need to actually find sources of fund to finance the pro the company's activities. This is very important. Yeah, because yeah, when we talk about discounting later on, yeah, we need to use look at the cost of capital, our cost of capital of the company, because that will be the benchmark yeah, to uh, actually um, measure yeah, whether we actually get the best yeah, uh, cost of funding for our business. Okay, and then of course we talk about how should short term operating cash flow be managed. Yeah? So this is for the long term. We need to be solvent. We, we, so, we, we say we need to be solvent because we need to survive in the long term. And the short term, we need to also to survive eh, in the sense that we need to talk about our liquidity. The liquidity management in the form of working capital requirements. So we need to invest also in working capital. Basically. So this is what we talk about short term operating cash flow. How do we actually manage our working capital? Because in the short term, we need to have that liquidity on a daily basis. Okay? Uh, so therefore we talk about three young dalani. This is based on I think Ross Kipuku last time. Eh? So these are the, the what call what kind of investment that we should do in our fixed asset. This is for what are the sources of funding that should we focus on in terms of eh, long term. We talk about raising long term fund eh? you should share, you should venture, you should bond and so on. Eh? Of course this one for short term uh, we talk about how to manage our working capital. And then there is another one, basically. Yeah? The fourth one will be the risk management aspect. How do we manage risk for our business? So that's why you have it, eh, because risks are so many. Eh? We talk about financial risk, eh? we talk about leverage risk, eh? uh, we talk about interest rate risk, we talk about currency risk, eh? the need for hedging. Yeah? So that is part of risk management requirement for the business today. Okay, uh, th that's why we are have introduced some of the things eh, for you to actually consider because that is again a very important function of the corporate finance today for how to manage your financial risk. Okay, the fourth one. Eh? Okay, so if you look at the Ross book, they will talk about this. Right? I think we, I think we are familiar because we are accountant. We don't have problem with this. Eh? 
the first one of course we talked about just now is here yeah, because these are the assets of the company okay now you want to know how to actually finance eh, the requirement of the asset of the company especially here okay uh, this is where the first question came in because funding when the business start eh, all the fund come from the owner right so this will be sufficient initially but later on when the company expand you need to have more fund therefore you need to have third party involvement here so that will be the additional fund that will tap from the market basically to cover this here okay and therefore this is the first question because important question because a huge amount of money need to be allocated for this Okay, and then of course the fund now eh? fund okay this is equity here right equity is very expensive right this is the long term right uh, of course in finally to match lah, eh? long term fund to match long term assets short term fund to match short term assets okay uh, sometimes of course depending on your <coughs> What you call working, working capital policy, you may want to allocate some of your current yeah, asset to finance your long term requirement here, yeah. your, your current liabilities here, right? To finance your long term. Of course, you check up current to finance current asset, yeah? but depending on how aggressive you are in terms of money managing your working capital. Yeah? Okay, and of course, that one should be the case there, the matching there. Now, objective. <coughs> now, the objective of corporate finance, traditionally we say, is to maximize shareholders' wealth. Right? So, of course, students will say, uh, you will ask students, uh, what is the aim of the uh, company, the goal of the company? Uh, to better maximize profits. Most of them will say maximize. It's okay to maximize profit. But if you can consistently, right, year, year in, year out, produce profits, therefore that will be in alignment with this maximization set shareholders value. But profit is very, very volatile. Sometimes you get a lot, sometimes you get none, sometimes you win losses. So we cannot use profit as the benchmark. Even though, yeah, on in the short term we say profit is the best benchmark. But profit, like us, we know, accountants, eh, are prone to manipulation. Right? But not bad. Lah. Sometimes you want to window dressing, you want to do smoothing, right? Uh, so that will be the impact on profit, basically. Yeah? So therefore, we don't want to actually use that as the long term benchmark for the company. So what we did is we focus more on how to match shareholders' wealth. Meaning, yeah, we want to talk about how the company generate net cash inflow for the business. How to generate net cash inflow? How? But did you are my student, I ask you now. Eh? <laughs> how? How do you generate cash, net cash inflow? Investing. By investing in positive NPV projects. That's why business need to search for projects. Okay? Continuously find opportunities to invest because you need to get that net cash inflow so that net cash flow translate to higher wealth for the shareholders. For example, I have a project, eh? a project that produced me positive 3 million NPV. What does it mean? We do a capital budget exercise, we do discounting, find the present value minus our initial cost, we get an NPV positive $3 million and we say, oh, we accept this project. Why will you accept the project? Because NPV is $3 million. But why do you accept the project because of the NPV is $3 million? The expected cash inflow of the company is triggered. The, the thing is, if the company has a value of 20 million, you have a net cash inflow of 3 million, 
now we expect roughly the company should be valued at 23 million dollars right 23 million dollars so the more positive NPV that you get from the investment in projects the higher will be the value of the firm this will translate to higher wealth for the shareholders because the wealth the share the wealth the, the value of the firm should be transferred back to the owner somehow in the form of dividends or capital gain yeah, through the increase in share prices right uh, so that's why we need to actually be very selective find value making smart investment and finding decision and uh, buy asset that generate more cash than the cost yes yeah so that is i think uh, a prudent move and then try to make smart financing decisions sell bond and stock and other financial instruments that raise more cash than costs eh? so meaning yeah, the, the return lah, eh? basically eh, from the issue of this quite difficult basically because you are actually influenced by the market forces eh? but you try to actually issue that means you have alternative now eh? for example eh, if you study parking order theory later on eh? what sort of fund do you, should you focus more first yeah, kalau kita pakai Fed Ali Jam lah because we are studying that anyway later on eh? The packing order theory say that company should use your retail earnings first Because it is the cheapest cost to you You are not dealing with third outside parties This is your cost, eh? your, your cost should be cheaper And then should you wish to have more fun Then only you go to third party That means 